Tonight, a burglary victim who fought back. The manager of a small business had a hunch about where to find the items stolen from him. Jim Sidelucky with this week's burglaries and break-ins. They cut a hole in the fence over here behind this orange tractor. It was a rude awakening for Chris Johnson. The police called me like 5 in the morning and asked me if uh, I'd had a truck stolen. And I told them that if there was a truck stolen, that we had bigger problems because the keys are inside the building. They had to break in the building. This is how they got in the building. Chris shows us the size of the window that used to be here. It was pretty small, and so were the footprints they found in the yard. Chris got a break two days later when police found his empty trailer dumped, but two snowblowers and two four-wheelers were gone. That's when Chris decided to play amateur detective. I just had some time on my hands. I drove across town by Ron Colley and started driving the streets looking to see if I had any four-wheeler tire tracks in the street. I uh, didn't see any four-wheeler tracks. Come across a former employee and uh, he was standing in the driveway. And I stopped to talk to him and I walked up and uh, there was my two snowblowers. Chris then called police and that former employee claimed that he bought the snowblowers on Craigslist. Whoever stole them scratched the name off the top, but not the bottom. Chris got his stuff back, and this guy, the former employee Garrett Lovett, got to wear some fancy bracelets for a while. He was booked on stolen property charges for now, as police continue to investigate this burglary and another one just down the road from Navarro's Industrial Yard. In Ralston, I'm Jim Sidelecki, Channel 6 News.